Hi, I'm Paul Toll from PaulToll.com and PortyKid.com, and I will make an, uh, a quick updated video of uh, uh, Red Alert 2. Um, there has been some uh, well, some changes and uh, um, some confusion about how to install the uh, Origin software, and um, yeah, that's why I, uh, I will show you quickly uh, how to install um, Red Alert 2 or Origin version on your porting kit. Well, if you don't have porting kit yet, you can get it from the portingkit.com website, of course. Click on download. Well, I have it already uh, here. So, uh, let's go on local. Let's see if I have Red Alert or so. Right. Okay, uh, let's go to the server tab where it is located. In the updated version of uh, Body Kit, there will be no server tab anymore, so that might be even in a, within a week that uh, this will be a little bit different. But uh, you have to search for the game, of course. You can see it here, Red Alert 2. You have to click on install, you click on install now, you click on next. And Okay, install. Okay. Well, this install is still the old, um, the old version of uh, Origin. Um, there will be uh, an updated version. Later. Nope. Later, I said. Okay. Um, what was I? Oh yeah. Um, there will be a, a, a newer version uh, of uh, of Origin, the latest, more latest version of Origin. Uh, uh, later on, uh, we're working on it. Uh, meanwhile, you still have to use the the old XP version of Origin. Which uh, is outdated, but uh, still uh, uh, gives you the opportunity to uh, to play the uh, play the games uh, in your origin. Uh, however, there will be an updated version, as I mentioned, uh, in not too long. Um, but because some there is some confusion about the installation of um, Red Alert 2 in our, our other origin games. Um, I'm gonna show you quickly here uh, the installation process, the updated installation process. So you can still um, play the game without uh, without much trouble. Uh, there are some um, well, um, known issues uh, about the um, the client itself that it is. Uh, little bit uh, buggy which means that if you open up origin and you click around some click around a bit and it might well, once in a while crash um, give it some time to load up which otherwise may uh, maybe a little bit crash happy uh, for the client the game itself uh, will just lines fine if of course you put the in-game origin of because uh, you still need to uh, turn off the in-game origin or the game won't start so that's important so what's more important is also um, when installing uh, the application you also need to make sure you uh, close every uh, well client option uh, it wants you to log in you have to click away after these select a few uh, select boxes uh, in the installation process but that will, it will show in a moment I will uh, first uh, let uh, porting kit uh, install uh, the wine tricks and uh, prepare the wrapper for usage so Okay, let's uh, oh, it's still install it's wide tricks. Let's speed some things up.
right. It's a starting installation of Origin itself. It already says here that uh, I have to close the setup, so deselect all the select boxes. Click on install. Accept the OLA, click OK. Now the setup of the, the client will appear. You have to click it away. Close the setup after install. There we go. Here it says it's online, not uh, available. Just click it away. The reason why is it will download uh, the correct uh, uh, setup file or executable after uh, the installation process. You'll see that in a second. Here's downloading the extra file. Well, let's see it is uh, finished now. And you can see here the play button and you see spill that's Dutch for play. Let me click play. And that origin uh, the origin window should appear. And this has the warning about XP. Doesn't matter, just click OK. Then you have to log in with your own uh, with your own account. You can click on uh, the mind. As you can see here, just a few more warnings. Give it some time to adjust. And then go... Uh, go to Red Alert. And then you click on uh, Download. We'll see here to confirm it. These elects, it's not important. Yes, I accept. And then go to the origin, and then you go to the settings, and you have to put the in game origin, it needs to be turned off. Very important. That's because if you don't do that, you'll have a problem with executing the game, it won't start. So you need to turn off the in-game origin. Well, now it's a matter of wait to uh, that it's installed. Let's see how fast it goes here. It says here another 24, 23 minutes. It has to download one to five gigs. The speed isn't that fast at the moment. It's already rising a little bit, so that's good. Here it says 10 minutes, 8 minutes, oh, it's rising, 7 minutes, 6, four. So let's speed it a little bit up as well. There we go. You will see here it's uh, download is uh, complete. 
So I click this away. So if you now click on play, you will uh, get the choice to uh, to start uh, Red Alert 2 uh, or Yuri Revenge. Remember that you have to turn off the in-game origin in the origin settings uh, up here, as I mentioned before. And um, yeah, um, this should be it. So you can uh, play the game. What I'm gonna do is I can uh, launch uh, the game. Um, the video will end uh, shortly after it. Just remember that uh, there will be an update uh, of the Origin clients uh, soon, so uh, the latest version of uh, Origin uh, will be uh, can be used to uh, play your games. But uh, until now, you have to, uh, well, for the time being, you have to uh, use this older version of Origin in order to play. So um, enjoy, and uh, I will just uh, show you that. Uh, the game will start fine, and that you will game. You can play this game uh, just, uh, but because um, 